make sure that no one has the mathematics syndrome. But no worries, I know everyone in this class is smart enough to pass. Why are you taking this stupid quiz? I hate quizzes. What is the point in taking them? Be quiet. It's only three questions, and you may begin now. Why are you taking this stupid quiz? I hate quizzes. What's wrong with you today? Nothing's wrong with me. What's wrong with you? You're the crazy one. Crazy? What a coincidence. I never call me crazy this morning at four. I had just woken up to hammer a picture of my cat onto the wall. By the way, do you like cats? Oh, please, doctor. What's wrong with my daughter? Is she going to be okay? You need to pay attention. You need to tell them how serious it is. I'm telling them about my favorite cat. Dude, this is serious. You need to tell how can bad you, it can. Can you give me a little more attention? I'm paying so much which is 2x plus 1 equals 7 minus x. The rule you have to remember is changing signs when you move numbers and variables to one side or another. Or, if you do one thing to one side, you have to do it to the other side, since the equation is equal. Let's look at this problem. In this problem, we have to isolate the x on one side and put the other side to do, thing, to do this. We have to do the opposite to isolate the x. Okay, so first... We want to, like, like we just said, we want to get the x on one side and the other numbers on the other side. So first, we have to get rid of this x and put the x over here. So you're doing the opposite. So negative x plus x is 0, so that cancels out. 2x plus x is 3x. So you write the problem down again. So this is what you're left with. And now you want to get this one to this side. So you do the opposite, or you subtract 1, and so plus 1 minus 1 is 0, it's cancelled out. So you're left with 3x equals 7 minus 1, which is 6. And when you have a number and a variable next to each other, it means it's being multiplied. So you have to do the opposite and divide. Divide both sides by 3, and your answer is 6 divided by 3 is 2, x is equal to 2. Oh! Now I get where the mistake was, but to be honest, I was just about to do that. I just didn't have enough time. Holy, um, now you like Um, okay, let's just go back to the topic, okay? Moving on. Okay, so for the next two questions, the key point was to do PEMDAS. P for parenthesis, E for exponents. 
M for multiply, D for divide, A for add, and S for subtract. Okay, so you have to remember the rule of order of operations to get the right answer. And you can remember this by, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So you have to do this in order from top to bottom. And let's look at some examples. First, we have 12 plus 4 times, in parenthesis, 10, 10, I think, minus 6. Cool. So first, you have to ask yourself, is there a parenthesis? Yes, 10 minus 6. So that's 4. Now you just bring down all the other numbers. And so is there any exponents? No. Dividing or multiplying? Yes, multiplying. So 4 times 4 is 16. Bring down the other numbers. And adding or subtracting? Yes, adding. So that's 28. And here is your answer. So for the next one, it's a little bit more complex. It's 3 times parenthesis 6 minus 4 to the second power divided by 6. So for this one, you go, you do the same thing. You go from top to bottom. Is there a parenthesis? Yes, 6 minus 4. So you know that's 2. And you just copy or bring everything down. Next, is there any exponents? Yes, you have to the second here. So 2 to the second power is 4. Bring all the other numbers down. And now ask yourself, is there any multiplying? or dividing, and yes, you have multiplying and dividing. So first you do multiplying, 3 times 4 is 12, bring down the numbers, now dividing, 12 divided by 6 is 2, and you've got your answer. That was exactly what I did though. Yes, of course. You had the signs and pentas mixed up in your head until we fixed it. Oh, Dr. Roger, thank you so much for saving my daughter's life. I thought I'll never be able to see her healthy again. No need to thank me. It is all my responsibility to keep her healthy children. It was very hard and dangerous, but I never gave up. I am a fighter, and I will continue to be. My responsibility to help unhealthy children. Yeah. <laughs> wait, can, wait, can we? It's stuff in your hey, head. Hey, what the heck? So are you we doing? fit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 